Good evening YouTube, this is Sam from the FPL family. Um, I'm here to talk to you about my Game Week 34 strategy, the transfers that I've made and to give you a jammy pick. So um, I have, as you know, got two free transfers for this week um, as I didn't make any for 33. Obviously we all know that one of my transfers this week is going to have been Kane. Um, I've actually taken out a Bamiyang this week after a lot of toing and froing backwards and forwards between whether to do a Bamiyang or Firmino. Um, for me, it came down to a straight choice between the games um, that they that they've got this week. So, uh, Firmino at home um, against Bournemouth just felt like a too nice a game to to miss out on. Um, and whilst Bamiyang's got a nice game against Newcastle, they are away from home. It is a long journey from from Arsenal up to Newcastle so I kind of felt it was the right thing to do given that I can get a Bamiyan Bank easily next week on my free hit anyway and then I'm not certain I want him for 36 um for the United game anyway so I've taken a Bamiyan out got Kane in um obviously Captain Kane this week um my other transfer for this week was Sterling to Lingard I um Denard, as many of you who follow me on Instagram will know from our conversations that we've had on um, private message and various other things this week um, between whether to take out Sonny or whether to take out Sterling and, and in the end um, I decided to get rid of Sterling. I still don't believe that Son will play both games this week. He may play a role in both of the games but I don't believe I'll get 90 minutes out of him. Um, but I'm guaranteed not to get more than 90 minutes in one game out of Sterling. Um, Sterling and Son playing each other this week both just as much chance of scoring I think so uh, yeah so that's what I've done I've kept Son um, and got rid of Sterling and what I haven't yet decided is now that uh, City are out of the Champions League um, whether actually I want to get Sterling back or whether I take a little punt on somebody else um, given that this is their only competition now um, so my team for the week um, is made up of a fair number of uh, double game weekers. So I've obviously got De Gea in goal on a double. Um, Chilwell for Leicester on a double. I've stuck with Alonso uh, for this week. I'm still not sure that I've done the right thing by sticking with Alonso. But I kind of felt like Chelsea have got two nice games in this double. Really, if he's ever going to perform for me, surely, surely it's going to be in these two games. And if he doesn't, then he is a goner. Um straight after my, my free hit week next week. Um, so the, uh, my, other, my other defender is me. Now he concerns me a little bit um, and I'll be waiting for news from um, from him about fitness this week um, because I could I might, might yet spend points if he's not gonna play in those games, I'll spend points to get in a different defender. Um, I've still got Mustafi um, at the back for, Newcastle, uh, for uh, Arsenal up against Newcastle this week. Um, and my other defenders, Robertson, uh, for Liverpool. Uh, in the midfield, I've kept kept Salah this week. I think after that Champions League performance, it'd be crazy not to. Um, now, obviously, with Lingard on a double, Son on a double, um, Izquierdo on a double. Uh, I think I've said that right. I'm sure someone will tell me if I haven't. Um, and then Millie, obviously, who ever stay at the moment um, in midfield. Um, and then forward line, Firmino, Kane and Vardy uh, this week. Um, with Foster as my other keeper. I have played my bench boost. I am keeping my triple captain for Kane in 37. Just think getting towards the end of the season when he's going to really need those goals for his golden boot chase. Um, it would be crazy not to, to triple captain in 37. Yeah, so that's where we are. Um, I think I'm fairly comfortable. Like I said, there may be one more transfer in there if if my Burnley defender, if me, is, is going to be injured for this game week, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, in the press conferences later on in the week. Uh, Jamie pick for this week. I am going to go for Barnes at Burnley. He's only owned by 4.5, uh, 4.4%, sorry. So he's well within my 5% bracket that I'm allowed. 5.4 uh, mil, so fairly affordable. Uh, could be a nice differential. I'm not sure that that many, many people have got him, particularly if you're looking to free up some money for somebody like Sanchez in the midfield. It's a nice cheap option up there for you. All right, well, have a good game week, everybody. May the green arrows be in your favour. See you on Sunday. Bye.